hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel in this video i'm showing how to configure relink conference ip phone with 3zx so first of all we need to reset our uh, e-link conference device so for that you need to press and hold the um, circle which is on the screen so once you press and hold this one for around 15 seconds it will ask for a confirmation to reset factory settings uh, press ok so that it will reset to the factory uh, and then you need to connect your LAN cable to the device so that it's going to get uh, one IP address from your DHCP server and this network should be able to communicate with the 3CX to configure the phone whether it's via VPN or uh, the same network so anyway it's uh, already rebooted uh, now we need to log into 3CX if it's on the same network normally it should um, appear in the phones uh, list so we are logging into the 3CX now after we log into the 3CX we can check the section where it is listed or not now I'm logging into the 3CX with the credentials and um, this is the dashboard so we need to check for one extension which can which will be using for the fonts so anyway I have an extension already so when I click fonts I can see that the first device which is uh, with the IP 1.115 is the meeting device it's already listing in the phone section so I can just uh, go to the IP address and log into the phone and uh, I can see that it's uh, it doesn't configure anything so I'm going to I'm going to assign an extension I already have an extension for the meeting room so I'm going to search for the meeting room extension and click on the meeting room extension click on OK uh, that's it just scroll down and copy the provisioning link in case if it doesn't work if the configuration was done not done properly uh, the phone is not provisioned we can do it manually so that you can just use that uh, link now we need to wait we already assigned the extension uh, we have to wait like uh, two minutes to three minutes depending on the uh, device model and other stuffs so let's wait for it to finish if it's provisioning we will be going with the default mother uh, default uh, option no complications otherwise you will have to uh, provision manually using the link provided uh, which will be available under the settings auto provision so we need to wait for the uh, fonts to come back I can see that it's rebooting so I believe the fonts will be provisioned the phone will be provisioned automatically so uh, it will be the default uh, the same IP that we have given uh, usually it won't change since the list time is not expired so let's uh, wait for it to finish let's make a ping uh, to see once it's back we can just log in and see if it's provisioned or not I'm still not getting any replay because I can see the screen phone screen is still rebooting now it's back we can see the ping reply from the uh, IP phone and we just uh, try to log in and we can just verify that one with, um, with the extension number for example triple one was my extension number and I can see that uh, the device CP960 is configured with the uh, for that extension when I go to the you uh, go to the phone register option under the account I can see that it assigned one uh, extension to our IP device conference device so this um, I believe this video was helpful guys uh, thank you for watching subscribe the channel click the bell icon for notification take care goodbye